26th December 2019, India, especially southern India, witnessed an annular solar eclipse. How a solar eclipse proved Einstein's general theory of relativity? Let us see and welcome to its science now. In 1915, Albert Einstein wrote a paper where he claimed that space and time are not independent as of now thought. But space and time are entangled, they are forming a four dimensional space time fabric. Massive objects like stars wrap this fabric around them. According to Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, the massive is the object, the more is the curvature of the space time around that object. Everything in the universe including light has to travel through space time. So, when light tries to cross a massive object, it bends. This was uh, quite weird for the then scientists because as of then according to Isaac Newton space and time are quite independent quantities and Einstein's theory uh, sound a bit radical because his theory could not be tested in laboratory. To test Einstein's general theory of relativity massive objects were needed like a sun or some stars because those massive objects would only be able to bend light. Fortunately, four years later an English physicist, astronomer, mathematician Sir Arthur Eddington observed the total solar eclipse to test the general theory of relativity. During that solar eclipse, the sun was then crossing past a distant star cluster. If Einstein were right, then the light from those distant stars get bent towards sun as sun being a very massive object wraps space time around itself. And because of this bending of light, apparent position of the stars should shift farther from the sun. During normal day, because of the sun's brightness, one would not be capable of see those light bending because of the sun. This is how light bends towards the curvature of the space. Because of the sun's tremendous brightness, we are not able to see the bending of light from the distant stars. During total solar eclipse, we are able to see the bending of the light coming out from the distant stars. So, Sir Eddington had to wait. Usually, sun's light blocks the light from stars, but during total solar eclipse, moon blocked the sun and the stars behind are quite visible and Sir Arthur Eddington measured the effect. We are thankful to Sir Arthur Eddington because his experiment demonstrated that general theory of relativity which predicts the bending of light around massive objects were right and Einstein became a star in the scientific world. Thanks for your time.